I end all my videos by praying Ephesians 1 verse 17 to 19 and that will be the topic of our Bible study today. So keep watching. Hello everyone and welcome to Rosemary's Heart. I hope that you're having a wonderful day today because this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Ephesians 1 verse 17 to 19 will be the verses that we are exploring today for our Bible study. Some of you may have been wondering why I chose these verses to pray at the end of each video, so I decided to do a Bible study on it. So if this is of interest to you, then give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video, which is every Tuesday and Thursday. Let's get into the Bible study. I'll be doing the King James Version of Ephesians 1 verse 17 to 19. So this is Paul's prayer for the believers and I'll start with verse 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So as I always mention, I use the King James Version of the Strong's Concordance, but I also use my New Living Translation Life Application Study Bible. So glory means high, renown, honor, magnificence, and majesty. Give is when you permit something or you grant, supply, or deliver. Wisdom is supreme intelligence. Revelation is appearing, coming to light, manifestation. And knowledge is facts, information, and practical understanding. So here's the summary. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of majesty, magnificence, and honor, would grant to you the spirit of supreme intelligence and that the facts of who God is would be brought to light. Paul was praying that the believers would get to know God in a deeper way and that they would know God for who he really is. And how do you get to know someone? By spending time with them. And that's the same way that we would get to know God, by spending time with him in prayer and in reading the word, in praise and in worship. Before you read the Bible, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to give you revelation into the Word of God. Ask Him to illuminate God's Word so that you can have a deeper understanding of who He is. Through prayer, which is talking to God, you will get to know who He really is. Not just know about Him, but you can know His character. Okay, on to verse 18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. So eyes means the eyes of your mind. Understanding is your ability to comprehend. Enlightened is to bring something to light. Know is when you perceive something and hope is expectation and confidence. Riches are abundance and valuable. Glory is honor and magnificence. Inheritance is possession. And saints are the believers. So here's my summary of this verse. Bring light to the eyes of your mind and your ability to comprehend that you can perceive the confident expectation that he has provided to those he called and the abundance and honor you receive as being the possession of God. Paul continued praying that we would understand that we can be confident in our victory through God. As God's possessions, we belong to him because we're believers. And because we are believers, there's a reward that comes with that. And according to this verse, it's abundance and honor. But that's just to name a few. We don't serve God because of what we can get from him. We serve him because we love him. And Jesus said in John, and I'm paraphrasing, that if you love me, then you will obey me. And through obedience to God, there's benefits that come with that. And those benefits are physical as well as spiritual. Next is verse 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power? So exceeding is to excel, surpass, or go beyond anything. Greatness is superiority. Power is strength, ability, and might. 
and working is operation. So here's my summary for this verse. And to perceive the operation and superiority of his strength, ability, and might to us who believe. Paul continues praying that we would understand that God's power goes beyond anything and that his abilities are superior. God's power is available to each and every one of the believers. No matter what we may be facing, no matter what we are going through, we can call on him. There is nothing too hard for God. I hope that you can see why I pray these verses at the end of my videos for you. I pray these verses for myself every day as well as for my family. It's important that we receive the revelation of who God is and how powerful and mighty he is. If you enjoy this Bible study, then like and share with someone who you know will benefit from it. You can sign up for my weekly devotional on my website at rosemarysheart.com. And yes, although we just did an in-depth Bible study of Ephesians 1, verse 17 to 19, I am still going to pray it at the end of this video. If you notice that it sounds a little different, it's because when I'm praying it, I pray the New International Version as it's just a little bit easier to understand. Okay, so let's pray. Ephesians 1, verse 17 to 19. Heavenly Father, I ask that you would give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that they may know you better. I pray also that the eyes of their heart may be enlightened in order that they may know the hope to which you have called them, the riches of your glorious inheritance in the saints, and your incomparably great power for us who believe. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Well, I want to thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video and God bless.